Imagine drifting through the infinite blackness of space. Stars distant and cold flicker faintly as you move past them. No warmth reaches you here, no breeze, no life. Your ship's senses pick up a phenomenon so alien that even light struggles to escape its grasp. Temperatures plummet toward absolute zero, the theoretical limit where atomic motion almost stops entirely. You might think this is science fiction, but it is not. Somewhere in the vastness of space, natural and human made extremes have pushed the concept of cold beyond imagination. Today, we explore the coldest place in the universe, tracing its story from cosmic voids and nebulae to quantum experiments in laboratories on Earth and aboard the International Space Station. On Earth, cold is relative. Antarctica's winter glaciers and icy winds are harsh, but nothing compared to the frigid emptiness of space. Temperature is essentially the measure of particle motion. Fast-moving atoms signify heat. Slow-moving atoms cold. At absolute zero or zero Kelvin, 273.15 degrees Celsius, 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit, atomic motion theoretically ceases. Yet even in interstellar space, the temperature rarely reaches absolute zero. The cosmic microwave background, CMB, the leftover radiation from the Big Bang, keeps the universe at 2.73 Kelvin minus 270.42 degrees Celsius. To go colder than this, matter must be isolated from radiation or cooled through expansion. The science of cooling in space is fascinating. Expanding gases lose heat rapidly, a principle that governs some of the universe's coldest regions. Without nearby stars or heat sources, temperatures can approach near zero Kelvin. In certain nebulae and cosmic voids, this results in environments colder than anywhere on Earth, surpassing human comprehension. Located about 5,000 light years away in Centaurus, the Boomerang Nebula is the universe's coldest known natural place. Measuring only 1 Kelvin, minus 272.15 degrees Celsius, it is even colder than the cosmic microwave background. This frigid temperature arises from a dying star shedding gas at immense speed, around 164 kilometers per second. The rapid expansion of gas cools it dramatically, similar to how an aerosol spray feels icy when released. The nebula's unique hourglass shape, captured in infrared images, glows faintly with hues representing temperature variations. Standing hypothetically inside, you would witness atoms almost frozen in motion, a silent dance at the edge of physics. Here, time and motion feel suspended in the relentless cold. Humans have engineered even colder environments. In 1995, the University of Colorado team created a Bose-Einstein condensate, BC, cooling atoms to billionths of a Kelvin above absolute zero. This state of matter acts as a single superatom, demonstrating quantum behaviors invisible in normal conditions. MIT scientists later cooled sodium-potassium molecules to 500 nanokelvin, billions of times colder than space. Techniques such as laser cooling and magnetic traps removed nearly all atomic motion, allowing the study of matter in unprecedented ways. The Cold Atom Lab aboard the International Space Station achieves 100 picokelvin, enabling scientists to explore quantum phenomena in microgravity. These man-made extremes rival or surpass natural cold, showcasing humanity's ability to manipulate temperature at atomic scales. Beyond nebulae, the largest cold regions are cosmic voids, vast expanses between galaxy clusters. The Eridana supervoid, spanning 1.8 billion light years, is nearly empty. Without stars or galaxies, Temperatures dip below the surrounding CMB, making them some of the universe's coldest regions. Imagine standing in such a void. Nearest galaxies are millions of light years away, light taking eons to reach you. 
These voids serve as natural laboratories for understanding dark energy, cosmic expansion, and the ultimate limits of cold. Projecting trillions of years into the future, stars will exhaust fuel, galaxies fade, and expansion continues. Radiation dilutes further, temperatures fall toward absolute zero. This scenario is the heat death of the universe, a state of maximum entropy where no usable energy remains. Black holes evaporate via Hawking radiation, and matter freezes into inert, silent structures. Eventually, every corner of the cosmos will mimic the Boomerang Nebula, but on a scale that spans the observable universe. Extreme cold is not mere curiosity, it probes the limits of physics. Studying ultra-cold environments links thermodynamics, quantum mechanics and cosmology, revealing behaviors unseen elsewhere. Laboratory experiments simulate conditions that exist naturally in space, allowing humanity to explore fundamental principles in controlled settings. Could life survive in such extreme cold? Conventional life as we know it cannot. Biochemical reactions slow dramatically, water freezes, metabolism halts, yet extremophiles on Earth, like certain bacteria, endure near freezing conditions, suggesting that some form of exotic life could hypothetically exist in colder regions, perhaps using entirely different chemistry. Science fiction often envisions beings thriving in cosmic voids or nebulae, feeding on residual radiation or quantum fluctuations. While purely speculative, these ideas spark curiosity and push the boundaries of imagination. So next time you feel cold, remember, Earth's winters are mild compared to the relentless chill of interstellar space. From the Boomerang Nebula to artificial ultra-cold laboratories, temperatures approach the very limit of what physics allows. The coldest places are not just icy. They represent time frozen, energy depleted, and the ultimate fate of the cosmos. They remind us of our smallness, the fragility of life, and the vast silent universe we inhabit. 